happening? Because your wedding's coming up in a couple of months, yeah. weeks. It probably feels like days at this point. Yeah, um, it's at the end of March, so we're we're closing in on it. Well, we heard you're kind of you're going like a little bit badass for the wedding dress from the rumors that were flying around. It, it was a take off your mom's wedding dress, right? Yeah. So my mom had a really cool dress in the '80s. Uh, it was a short wedding dress, and her gay friend from hair school made it. <laughs> and That's awesome. I was, yeah, I was like, I love that she did that because she couldn't really afford to buy one. So her friend made it and uh, I just thought she looked so cool and that's like edgy. You, that's why you have a that, cool that's mom where I get and it a sense from. of style. She's a hairstylist? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Like, yeah, yeah that's where your creativity totally. and artistic. That's where your that. gossip comes from. Mm -hmm. All hairstylists know how to mm -hmm. gossip. She's a uncertified therapist. <laughs> <laughs> have you picked out all the details of the wedding? Do you know your bridesmaids or like the exact number of bridesmaids you're going to have yet? Uh, not doing bridesmaids. Not doing... Are dogs groomsmen. involved? Is that what we heard? I, my dog will be there. I guess she could be a bridesmaid. She sucks though. Um, <laughs> she's, she's invited because she, she had to come. She might be lucky to even go um, <laughs> if they allow dogs, but uh, I'll get her a little, like a little um, bow tie or something. That's awesome. But uh, no, I, I honestly didn't want to do the whole... Like I, no judgment to people that have like the in, entire ceremony thing happening, but I I wanted to keep it really s small and just have like our siblings be up mm -hmm. there with us, and then you don't have to deal with like the politics of pissing a friend off or mm -hmm. like oh it happens a too. friend of a friend oh, right. yeah what are you doing for entertainment for like the band or the DJ or that's a tough call I think when you're an entertainer yeah I think <laughs> Ryan and I joke we're like. We've had enough music for one lifetime, <laughs> like no live music. So we got like a Motown DJ. So we're going to throw it back.